the most serious risk would be amputation on your leg. I have had three surgeries and I think it's about 28,000. And I've had over 60 surgeries and probably over 550,000 pounds. 30% of my surgeries have been reconstructive. I'm gonna actually stand up for you. Okay. And do your little twirl, just so you can uh, get the full effects. <laughs> Feel free to say whatever you think. I think you may have had surgery on your face and a little bit of surgery on your breast, maybe on your arms or your legs, or maybe both. Anything else? Hmm, maybe had surgery on your bum. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I've had a lot. <laughs> so, are you ready for this? Yeah. First of all, you were right on everything you said. So, I've had my legs lipoed, my thighs lipoed, the whole body has been lipoed basically. And then I put the fat into my ass and I put it into my hips. And then I've had eight boob jobs, chin and jaw done twice, a lip lift, eight nose jobs. But again, so, like six of them I didn't want, I needed because they were reconstructive. I've had my ears pinned back, my earlobes made smaller, my lips augmented, my cheeks, my chin, my forehead, my eyebrows, my eyes, like the skin taken off the top of them, underneath my eyes injected. Basically everything. There's not literally a part of me that hasn't been touched by the surgeon's scalpel. Do you want to have a little sneak peek at some photos? Yeah. Oh, this is a not so good surgery. That went kind of wrong. I guess you guessed one of them right. <laughs> <laughs> that speaks for itself. That was definitely a botched one. But I needed redoing. And this is obviously pre anything. Haven't been touched by the surgeon yet. Why did you start getting surgery? I was really badly bullied in school. They used to call me names like Pinocchio, Dumbo, and I always wanted to be a Victoria's Secret model. And, well, let's face it, that, that wasn't going to happen. I was five foot three. But I just wanted to change my whole appearance, my body, my life, and prove them wrong and show them that I could have been a model and have a career out of it. And now I do it to try and find a man. So I was also bullied off through school and through college for the way I work in that. You know how it feels to be like, yeah, yeah. People calling you names, and because you look different, you don't want to be in school then. Well, I dropped out when I was twelve. <laughs> I couldn't hack it, to be honest. I was just like, I'm not that strong. What surgery did you have first? My nose, because I just it was in the middle of my face, and I wanted it gone. So, well, not gone, but you know, like yeah. made smaller and thinner. I was like 17, 18. Do you feel better after all your surgery? Yeah, 110 percent. Money well spent. Obviously, I can see your crutches, so maybe something to do with walking. Is it your feet, legs? <laughs> <laughs> I was born with a disability called cerebral palsy. It, like, affects my walking. Right. But my three operations had nothing to do with my cerebral palsy. I have a condition called lipedema. OK. What does that mean? It's where you have extra fat in your legs and you can't just lose it, so you have to get surgery for it. So you've had lipo on your legs as well? Yeah. Like me! But I've also had a breast realignment, oh. which is how I found out I needed this other two surgeries for my legs. So you went in for your boobs and just, had those realigned? Just one, because one was really big and one was really small, oh. but I only wanted to make the bigger one smaller. The day I was going in for my breast operation and I was just waiting for the specialist to come and see me and he looked at my legs and pinched it and was like, do you want that fixed? And that's how we found out it was lipedema, just by chance that he's the specialist with lipedema. I was hoping that the state of my legs before the surgery was because of the cerebral palsy, so we never really looked at it being anything else until I had my breast operation. Oh! If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have known about lipedema. Shall we have a look at my photos now? Let's do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks painful. That's how bad they were. 
before the surgery. You can't really see my ankles there. I can imagine it stopped you from doing a lot of day-to-day -day stuff as well. Never really wanted to go out in public or where people would see my legs like that. After the bruise went down, that's actually... Wow, that looks so amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's so much better. <laughs> it's just a, such a dramatic change. It does sound like quite a big surgery. Was there any risk or was it quite easy? The most serious risk would be amputation on your leg. So yeah. you were willing to risk it? Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really brave. You have thought about the risk, but you were just like, this is going to make my life so much better if I have it. Before I had the surgery, I had to wear shoes that were two sizes too big for me because of how wide my ankles were. And before I had my breast realignment, I would always wear jumpers in the summer, even if it was too hot. Yeah, we've got a lot in common. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>